a diver was shocked to see the humpback whale's expression of appreciation after he went above and beyond to save its life. A lone humpback whale was swimming near to the shore of an American city during the night. The creature initially moved in a tranquil manner, but because it was pitch black it couldn't see the things in the water. The whale had abruptly been entangled in some rope. It began to fumble. The large animal twisted and turned, hoping to break free from the weight, but its actions were futile. Hours would go by, and the whale would remain in that spot, waiting for someone to save it. When a group of people went out to sea, they didn't expect that they'd soon return with one of them becoming a hero. James Mosquito was an experienced diver who had recently joined the team for one of their excursions. Early in the morning, the volunteers had been notified of the strange activity that took place overnight. Although the message wasn't clear, they were briefly told that an animal was involved. Both curious and worried, the team took one of their fastest boats and headed into the water. The crew drove their boat towards the specified location. They were approximately seven miles away from the coast of San Francisco when they saw something hiding among the waves. It was a whale. It bobbed its head up and down, its eye directed towards the group. The whale was observing them, possibly wondering if the people meant any harm. The humpback whale was discovered to be caught in a dozen traps. Crab traps had been set up the day before. They had been vacant the night before, but were now filled. They weighed somewhere between 3 pounds and 160 kilograms in total. The whale was rooted to the ground by the weight like an anchor. Unlike fish, whales cannot breathe underwater. As mammals, they need to regularly swim upwards for oxygen. Even though this humpback continued to go up for air, it was clear that its strength was waning. After hours and hours, the creature was clearly fatigued. It was a miracle that it had managed to stay alive after all that time. As the crew watched the whale skimming the surface, alarm bells rang in James's head. Not long ago, he was on a boat in a different location. During this past event, he witnessed something traumatizing, something he could never let go. A poor blue whale shark had been the victim of multiple shark attacks. Once again, James was in shark-infested waters. During the season, there would be plenty of predators lurking around the coastlines. Not only was this whale stuck and therefore unable to protect itself, but it was also wounded. Its injury was leaking oil into the water. Like moths to a flame, James knew that nearby sharks would target the trapped whale. You had an oil slick that probably went for more than a mile, so there was definitely a great scent for the white sharks in the area, explained James. James had to do something to help the whale, and there wasn't much time left. There was only one thing he could do, jump into the water and free the whale from the traps. As quickly as possible, James slipped on his diving gear. He spoke his thoughts while getting ready, and the other divers listened attentively. They trusted the man. He was experienced but also noble. They admired the way he carried himself, even while under a lot of mental pressure. As James looked down into the blue water, he was fully aware of the possibility that a shark was close. It wasn't so much where I was afraid, but it was definitely on my mind that I could encounter something bigger than me out there, said James. Someone else in James's shoes may have frozen or fled at the thought of a large carnivore swimming around them. However, James's courage prevailed, and instead of concentrating on the possible risks of his circumstance, he chose to see the whale's return to freedom as a positive. James drew one of the crew members near to him just before he dove in and cautioned him about the sharks. James was aware of how to handle the danger, but he wasn't sure if the others were as well. He advised them to keep an eye out and maintain track of each other in case a great white shark suddenly materialized. According to James, maintaining eye contact with the terrifying creatures will protect you because the shark will then acknowledge you as being a non-food source. After quickly scanning the watery area surrounding the boat, James turned his gaze towards the whale. So far, there seemed to be no shark in sight. With steady hands, James put his mask on. One second he was standing on the boat beside everyone else, in the next, he was in the water. A few minutes later, all the other divers had joined him. James swam towards the whale, his fellow divers following close behind. As he approached, he noticed that the animal's head was fully above the surface. It was staring straight at him. Although it was in desperate need of help, it seemed distrustful of the human drawing closer to it. There was a sad and tired look in the creature's eyes, one that any intelligent animal would be able to recognize. James empathized with the creature. The whale was smart enough to understand the danger of its situation and probably saw the people as potential threats. 
In order to soothe the humpback, the diver extended one of his hands and tried speaking to it. While James rubbed the side of the whale's face, he said in a calm tone, I'm here to help you. I'm not going to hurt you. The rope was biting into the whale's skin. No wonder the whale was unable to free itself. The rope had dug in so deep, it created burns and cuts. When the whale first got caught up in one of the traps, it thrashed around in an attempt to shake the rope's oar. But this ended up twisting the rope, burying it deeper into its body. The humpback whale had become ensnared in more traps after a long night of battling. The whale had to have been under a great deal of stress because of how tightly the ropes were wound. Over a mile of crab traps were present. James started to cut the rope because he felt sorry for the whale. The whale moved closer to freedom with each layer of the obstruction that the knife cut through as it unraveled. The other divers tried their best to help James, careful not to hurt the whale any further. Occasionally, James would spin around to look for any nearby sharks. He reminded the divers to keep their guards up, and when satisfied with their caution, he would return to his task of cutting the rope. He encouraged the other divers to keep up the good work. Eventually, the whale was freed. When the final cord released the whale from the weight, the whale dived back down. The divers cheered and congratulated each other. They were able to carry out their plan with no problems. The team was proud of James. They spoke of how he would soon gain popularity over the events. It's not every day that a diver saves a whale. Even so, James' heroic act wasn't the most surprising thing to happen on that day. Rather, the whale's reaction was unlike anything those people had seen before. Just watch how it thanked the man for his help. Almost immediately after the whale was freed, it returned to where the humans had rescued it. In particular, it returned to James. Along with the rest of his crew, James watched the whale come back up to the surface. But while other people had gotten back onto the boat and were therefore observing the humpback from a distance, James was still in the water. He was looking down in the depths as the great creature swam upwards heading straight towards him. He was in awe of the encounter. The whale finally rose to the surface and started to gently prod James. It was swimming around the amused diver in a fun way, much like a pet might be around its owner. The big animal circled James for a few minutes while swimming in a figure-eight pattern. The group's initial reaction was disbelief. A wild whale was interacting with a human as if they had known each other their entire lives. It seemed bizarre to James. James could still see the joyful animal if he closed his eyes since the recollection of the event became so clear. How courageous do you think James was? Please share your opinions in the space provided below. If you liked the story and found it inspiring, remember to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I hope to see you again in another video. Take care!